Hi, normally we'd be inviting you to watch a full review episode of the podcast for the Bournemouth versus Luton game, but in light of what happened to Tom Lockyer on Saturday, I don't think football is really relevant right now. We do quickly want to record a few messages though to uh, a certain party, and with me to do that I've got the Lutonian journalist James Cunliffe. James, all we're thinking about right now is Tom. Football at times like this is not really relevant at all. It's um... Yeah, very uh, distressing scenes, emotional scenes yesterday. Um, and I think there's been a lot of outpouring of emotion about it since. So um, I think the the right thing to do is is keep talking about it if, uh, if you need to, because these things can creep up on you, uh, you know, whether you're there or not. We're all, as Luton fans, football fans indeed, we're all, United on this one thing, the term we just want Tom to be healthy, healthy and and recover. Yeah, that's very much the overriding thought of everyone right now. Um, as I say, our thoughts are with Tom, but we would like to extend our gratitude to certain people. First and foremost, Philip Billin, the first person on the pitch to see Tom and go over and treat him. Uh, it looked from a distance that he was putting him in the recovery position, but it's since come to light he may well have been unblocking his airway. So thank you to him for showing such quick, speedy thinking and doing that. To Dominic Solanke for waving the medicals people onto the pitch prior to the referee even stopping the game. But obviously the incident took place with back to, uh, the referee turned. To everyone con uh, concerned with Bournemouth, actually, for handling themselves with class and dignity, not least their medical staff for the brilliant treatment that they gave Tom on the pitch. To the medical crews of everyone who was involved, actually, particularly having already had to deal with an incident in the home end in the first half of that game. can only imagine how tough the afternoon was for you guys, and I hope you get all the support. We'd like to send our support to the players of both teams. Nobody likes seeing incidents that we saw. Uh, on the pitch on Saturday and that was a teammate to ours and a rival but friend of many of the opponents that were on the pitch on Saturday so we uh, hope that you have lots of love and support from those around you and we'd also like to thank everyone uh, in the Bournemouth end on Saturday. Nobody really knew what to do but when uh, Luton fans started singing old Tommy Tommy for the Bournemouth fans to then join in as well just showed that there are things greater than football and rivalries can be put to one side. And for the whole ground to cheer Tommy's name while he was getting treated and as he was stretched off and indeed to show the love and support that you did for our players and our manager, Rob Edwards, as he went round and thanked everyone himself, was um, full of respect and class and we thank everyone involved for that. I mean, that for me, when people talk about the football family, is what it's all about. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a game and... Uh, People and, and human life and health is, is far more important, way, way more important. And um, that reaction it oozed class from Bournemouth. So thank you very much from everyone down there at the Vitality and indeed everyone that has, I've seen posting positive messages on social media because it's come from all sides, all clubs, all fans, all pundits, um, everyone. And... I think that that shows the measure of the situation and probably even the measure of Tom Lockyer, who's who's well loved. Absolutely. Yeah, we will be back when everyone's in a position to play football again. But right now it's not important. The only thing that is important is that you're safe and well, Tom. We all absolutely love you. We're only in the Premier League because of that winning goal you scored in the playoff semi-final. We love you to bits. More importantly than anything in this world with Christmas approaching, we hope you're safe and well and you can be with your family at festive periods like all of us. Uh, stay strong, mate, and um, we hope to see you soon. Best wishes, Tom.